Sophia. And I'm Cole. And, and welcome, welcome to, to the pause. pause. Here's what you missed. Choir went to Disneyland again. Seriously, why did they get to go to Disneyland so much? Cole, what's with all the inquiring today? Sophia, what's with not showing up to electives rush? Hey, I got sick. And plus, I used my time in bed to make revisions on my advisory draft. And I turned it in early for extra credit. Well, my immune system is stronger, and you're not that special because I also passed my S test early for extra credit. Well, unlike you, I don't need extra credit to pass English. Wow, they're being so hostile today. Isn't this supposed to be a Valentine's Day episode? Luckily, we had a three-day weekend to recover from deadlines thanks to our 16th president. Speaking of old dead guys, Valentine's Day is in two days. Cole, you sound excited for something. It's odd. Well, I like Valentine's Day. It's a great day for the economy. Cole, that's not what it's about. Valentine's Day is a great time to express how much you love and care for the people around you. Oh, Sophia, you are yet to understand the evils of capitalism. Well, maybe I don't. But would you still want the Valentine's Day card I made you? Sure, why not? Here you go. <laughs> Sophia, it's beautiful. Oh, it's nothing really. Sophia, you've shown me that it's important to show our friends how much we appreciate them. Well, any ideas? I've got one. cards are crafted, let's go do some of Cupid's work. Also, every card is empty. Drop something off real quick, Chris? Yes. Oh, you're adorable. Thank you. Uh, also, Friday night is uh, comedy improv. Are you guys both competing? <laughs> So, seven o'clock, seven o'clock in the student union, comedy improv is amazing. Thank you. Can you open it? We take chocolate in this class. I love it. I'm so sorry. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. Man, who's it from? You, Cole? Oh, and Sophia, that's fine. You're Mr. Okay. I'm so sorry. Thank you so much. Oh, should I read it? I enjoy it. Oh, you Happy Valentine's Day. Wow. <laughs> Not only was that a great time, but I noticed something. What? There isn't just one kind of love. Love doesn't have to be romantic. And there are so many ways to show it, not only on a commercial holidays with balloons and chocolates, but on days where loving someone might not be so easy. You're right. There's people who care for us on a day-to-day -day basis, like our family, our friends, and for some of us, partners. Love should be a year-round thing. In reality, love takes a lot of time, work, and commitment. But the best things in life do. You know what else takes a lot of time, work, and commitment? What? Making Valentine's Day cookies. Why? Well, I tried making some this weekend, but they didn't turn out too well. Ah, oh, that's too bad. The best way to a person's heart is through their stomach, after all. Oh, 
I don't even believe in that. I only think true love exists in those dumb romantic comedies and Disney movies. Well, where do you think all those films gain inspiration from? Real life? Yeah, sure. Well, there's only one way to settle this. Tess? 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 Let's send it out to Tess in the field to find out if true love really exists. Hey y'all, this is Tess from The Pause and we're gonna go around and ask people, do they really believe in true love? <laughs> oh. Hi, Sarah. <laughs> I have a question for okay, you. you <laughs> Do you really believe in true love? True love? Wow, I truly love my dog. Does that count? <laughs> um, but if on a serious note, true love is for suckers. I was wondering if you guys believe in true love. Uh, I do. I believe in true love. Okay. Yeah. You? Uh, no, you have to make it like you have to make it what you want. Hi, girls. I was wondering if you guys believe in true love. Yes. Yes. Sure. Sure. <laughs> yeah, I think so. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's fake. Oh. Um, I think so, yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> sure, yeah. Yes. Maybe. What do you mean, maybe? It's complicated. Jaden, I was wondering if you believe in true love. Yes. I was wondering if you guys believe in true love. Uh, no. Yes. Maybe. What do you mean, maybe? Uh, it's theoretically possible, but not exactly practical. Well, those are some good answers. Let's go back to the studio. Thanks, Tess. No matter what you believe or what you think about Valentine's Day, every day should be about spreading love and happiness. And what better way to spread love and happiness than going to a comedy sports match? This Friday at 7 p.m. in the Student Union, our comedy sports team will be having their Valentine's Day match for the low, low price of $5. On a side note, Cole and I want to spread all of our love to everyone, except those that don't watch the pause. It's not like they're going to see this anyways. <laughs> nope. Well, this concludes this week's episode of The Pause. Thanks for watching. Make sure to follow us on Twitter at The Pause and on Instagram at The.Pause. Now for Mullen's Life Lesson of the Week. Take, Take it, it away, Mullen! Hello, and welcome to Mullen's Life Lessons. It's Valentine's Day this week, and you know, there's a thing about love that most people don't understand. You hear a love song, and like, it seems so happy and uh, whatever. The thing is, love songs are written about like the first 48 hours of you being with someone. Real love is a lot of work, and it's a lot of struggle, and it's a lot of effort. And it's not always going to be happy all the time, but that doesn't mean it's bad. Real love takes work. Think about it. Think about it. Hi, I'm Sophia. And I'm Cole. And welcome to the... Already? And it... <laughs> Turn it in. Stop cutting me off. <laughs> you are laughing! <laughs> I'm gonna strangle you. <laughs> You've shown me that it's in... <laughs> you strangled me! What? There's more than one type of love. <laughs> My voice cracked. Let's do this. <laughs> you do! I That's told you! Me. I asked you if you knew that one! You said yes, but you didn't!